हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वम गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल दिस इज अवर कोर्स अप्रोच 365 सिक्सटी फाइव वेलकम टू प्लस प्रमेश इलेब एंड इट्स द डेली करंट अफेयर्स कोर्स एंड टुडे इज नवंबर 10 टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम टॉपिक्स वी आर हैविंग सोर्सेज हिंदू पी आई बी एंड मिसलेनियस एंड आई एम शुभंगिनी दुबे एंड आई एम जर्नलिस्ट बाय प्रोफेशन ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट वन इज टाइगर ट्रम्प टी आर आई यू एम पी द सेकेंड वन इज समुद्र शक्ति दैन साइक्लोन बुलबुल दैन नासा वोयक टू spacecraft and then kerala fiber optical network project then no money for terror conference then spg nsg and the other security forces how india protect it vips and then steel scrap policy okay so starting with the tiger term so basically it's the first tri services amphibious exercise which is between the india and the united states okay it will be conducted in the visakhapatnam and kakinada in the andhra pradesh so this exercise is uh, with the both the countries so there are some names okay so sometimes in the prelims it's just the word which is given and you have to figure it out that why it was in news okay so like uh, this was recently in news with context to this uh, select the right test statement so it's uh, these questions are related to it okay so the exercise will help the countries to exchange the knowledge and to establish professional and personal relationship okay so this was about the trigger trump then the second topic is samudra shakti so basically it is also a bilateral maritime ex- exercise but it is between india and the indonesia okay so there was a last edition which was held at the bay of bengal samudra shakti keep this in mind it is between the india and the indonesia so in this joint exercise it will include maneuver surface war exercises air defense exercises weapon fire drills helicopter operations and boarding operations okay so it will be maritime bilateral maritime exercise it, it will also include these things in the samudra shakti okay moving on to the next topic cyclone bulbul so basically it's a storm it is the seventh name storm of the unusually active 2019 north indian ocean cyclone season okay so there are unusual so many cyclones are coming in the north indian ocean so this is the seventh named okay so the, the season has seen cyclone pabuk so basically these were the season in uh, uh, cyclones which were seen in this season the first one was cyclone pabuk which was in the south china sea andaman sea all right then it was the cyclone fani it came in bay of bengal then the cyclone vayu in the arabian sea it came then cyclone hikka which was in the arabian sea then cyclone kayar recently we heard about in current affairs only we discussed about the cyclone kayar which was in the arabian sea we also discussed about the cyclone maha which was in the arabian sea but now it's the bulbul okay so the bulbul named is contributed by the pakistan so if ministry of meteorological department predictions were right then it is said that bulbul will be the sixth storm to reach an intensity of very severe cyclonic storm so if the the uh, weather forecasting of imd will be true then it will be the severe cyclonic storm okay sixth severe cyclonic storm so this was about the cyclone bulbul then moving on to the next topic nasa's voyager 2 to spacecraft okay so this is an interesting one because nasa's voyager 2 now has existed now it has exited the heliosphere and now it has entered in the interstellar space okay so interstellar space we are going to discuss in the next slide so uh, approximately it is 11 billion miles from earth okay so it is the second uh, spacecraft or second man made ob- object which is this much far from the earth okay so voyager 2 is the only probe ever to study neptune and the uranus during planetary flybys okay so keep this in mind that voyager 2 from the nasa is the only probe okay which is studied neptune and the uranus because neptune and uranus are quite far away from earth okay now it is the second man made object to leave our planet okay so this is the second man made object which left our planet now voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited all four gases joint planets so this is the only spacecraft which has covered all these four that, that is jupiter saturn uranus and the neptune okay Uh, because these uh, are very far uh, uh, planets okay so and 16 and uh, discovered not just planets he had discovered it has discovered 16 moons as well as the phenomena like neptune's mysterious transient great dark spot okay so the, the great dark spot of neptune was also covered okay it has also covered the europa's ice shells cracks okay so the cracks in the europa's ice shell were also discovered and ring feature at every planet okay how we came to know that there are rings 
because of the Voyager 2. Okay, so this is about it that how many uh, how rings are there in the Saturn and some in the Neptune or Uranus. So these are about it. Okay, then uh, we have to know that what is interstellar space. Okay, so there is a movie also interstellar some uh, movies there I I am reminding it uh, so I think Tom Cruise is there in that movie okay so uh, let it be scientists use the helipods to mark where interstellar space begins so basically it is about the uh, uh, there is a helipods from which uh, interstellar space begins okay although depending on how you define our solar system so basically it is defined as the 1000 time farther away from the sun 1000 times farther away from the sun than earth's orbit okay so the distance in which earth is in right now okay we have to multiply it by the thousand the distance which is uh, from earth to sun 1000 times more distance from earth to sun it uh, it is the place where interstellar space begins okay so from the place where interstellar space begins it is known as heliopause all right now what is the heliosphere so basically it is a bubble around the sun created by the outward flow of the solar wind okay so bubble around the sun is created by the outward flow of solar winds are there which came from the sun and it opposes the inward flow of interstellar winds so sometimes interstellar winds are coming but sun is opposing it okay so the heliosphere is the region influenced by the dynamic properties of the sun so basically solar system is there sun is there so there are dynamic properties of sun itself the magnetic fields the energetic particles and solar wind plasma so uh, the heliosphere is that only all right the heliopause marks the end of the heliosphere so basically heliopause uh, mark the uh, end that is the border line of heliosphere heliopause heliopause okay and it it, it, it begins the interstellar space all right now about the Voyager mission, so it, it is quite uh, old mission which was executed by the NASA, so it was launched in 1970s, okay, so in 1970s it was launched and the NASA launched it only to uh, explore the outer planet, but they just keep going on, okay, so they, it, it was about the closer study of those planets which are farther from the earth. Okay, so it, the project was about it. So it was departed uh, from Earth on 5th of September 1977. On September 5th, 1977, it, it left the Earth. And few days after Voyager 2 and left our solar system, a few days after Voyager 2 and left our solar system in 2013. Okay, so it was Voyager 1 and the second was for Voyager 2. Okay, so it was departed on 5th September and then after Voyager 2 which left our solar system in 2013 and then it left our solar system in the 2013 that means all planets were crossed and it entered into the interstellar space now what was the objective of the voyager interstellar mission so basically it in short it is known as vim and it is to extend the nasa's exploration so nasa can explore the solar system beyond the neighborhood of the outer planet that means uh, 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 moving from the earth uh, from mercury itself we can say mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and pluto is not in the solar system so it is to uh, uh, it is to explore all these planets from a closer point of view okay so the voyager spacecraft and the third and fourth human script spacecraft to fly beyond all planets in our solar system so it is the uh, third and fourth human a a spacecraft which flied beyond all the planets in the solar system then finally 10 and 11 preceded voyager and outstripping the gravitational attraction of the sun but on february 17 1998 voyager 1 passed planet trend to become the most distant human made object in the space okay so uh, pioneer 10 and 11 were also there which preceded the voyager in uh, in uh, moving ahead but on 17 february 1998 voyager 1 passed the pioneer 10 okay and it became the most distant human made object in the space okay so this was about the voyager now moving on to the next topic kerala fiber optics network project as you know that fiber optics is for the fast internet connectivity so basically the government is trying to have 30 government offices and a school to link through the high speed network as the state government is saying and for this the cabinet has approved 1548 crore fiber optic network project okay so basically a free wi-fi connection will be given to 20 lakh people which are below poverty line 
ट्वेंटी लैक हाउस होल्ड विल बी देयर एंड इट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड बाई दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इट नवंबर नाइनटीन एंड नाउ टिल डिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड ओके सो ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू प्रोवाइड हाई इंटरनेट कनेक्शन टू अराउंड टू मिलियन फैमिलीज इन दी स्टेट बिकॉज दिस वे दे विल बी एम्पावर्ड एनी हाउ ओके सो इट सिग्निफिकेंस इज वेन प्रोजेक्ट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हेल्प कंट्रीज आई टी इंडस्ट्री द आई टी इंडस्ट्री विल बी हेल्प्ड एंड इट विल क्रिएट दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन दी ब्रॉक चेंस एंड दी स्टार्टअप्स विल ऑल्सो गेट बेटर ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट दी इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी now moving on to the next topic no money for terror conference obviously from the name itself it's clear that now the second edition of this no money for terror there will be a conference which will be held by india in year 2020 so now within years there will be so many conferences the international conferences which are going to held in india all right so the announcement was made at the no money for terror conference in melbourne australia so this was about the uh, an, a previous conference which was made in melbourne australia so what are the key fact the no money for terror conference is organized by financial intelligence units of over 100 countries jointly called the agmont group okay so this conference is attended by the 100 countries over 100 countries are there which is organized by the financial intelligence unit fiu okay and it is uh, jointly called the agmont group agmont group keep this in mind such questions are tricky and can be asked in upsc okay so recognizing the importance of international cooperation in the fights against money laundering and finance of terrorism a group of the fius met a few years ago okay so to uh, combat the problem of the terrorism okay and the financial support by the countries to the terrorism this organization was made okay at agmont arenberg palace in brussels belgium that is also known as agmont group because it was formed in the agmont arenberg palace in the brussels belgium and it decided to establish an informal network of fius so basically it is because of it okay so the agmont group was created to provide fius around the world to form to exchange information confidentially to combat money laundering so basically the group will be combating the money laundering and the finance of terrorism will be stopped with the help of this conference as it's going to happen in india this makes it important now money laundering and financing of the terrorism so basically terrorist and terrorist organization has having so many sources from which they get the money so it is a very important uh, topic nowadays that how finance of terrorism is happening because terrorism is a global issue okay and india has always raised this issue in almost every conferences the respective uh, prime minister of india prime minister narendra modi had already uh, said these things in the many conferences okay so it made it uh, significant okay so the ability to prevent and detect money laundering is a highly effective means of identifying criminals so if there will be no finance how terrorism can happen because terrorism need weapons terrorism needs bombs okay so these are the things which makes it uh, uh, like if they will there will be this much uh, effective uh, monitoring of the money laundering then it it will not happen okay so it was about the financing of the terrorism now spgs nsg and the other security force so basically there are security forces the vips are getting vip gets the security okay so the union government ex- expected to take away the security cover by special protection A special protection will be there and then the being provided to sonia gandhi rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi so basically uh, there are so many vip people who are getting security at no cost so security cover by special protection group so uh, there is a security to sonia gandhi rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi so they will however continue to get a z plus security cover when they will be provided commandos belong the crpf so these are the things which is for the opposition party so now how security level are decided how they are going to have the security so basically the union home ministry takes this calls after evaluating the input from all the intelligence so there is an impo- uh, protocol and uh, they have to follow the protocol and they evaluate the intelligence agencies and the research and analysis wing okay so uh, since none of the intelligence agencies accountable to any external statutory body so no external st- statutory body is there for which these are so 
uh, it will internet oversight by ministry of home affairs and the issue of security cover is open to manipulation so basically it is a manipulation and then ministry of home and foreign affairs is supporting it so this is how the security levels are divided now the genesis of special protective so in march in the year just one second a special protection group it is okay so basically in march 1985 there were a recommendations by the committee of the home ministry and under it the special protection unit was renamed as special protection group in april 1985 in the same year okay then an act was passed of the naming special protection group and it notified in june 1988 it was notified in june 1988 all right and the spg act defined proximate security as a protection provided to close quarters so basically proximate security is been defined in that and then it was protection was extended apart from prime minister to former prime minister of india and under it the coverage was extended from prime minister to former prime minister and then members of the immediate families through an amendment in the act so there was an amendment in the act and that the immediate families also got and then assassination of after met the assassination of rajiv gandhi in may 1991 and then when rajiv gandhi was assassinated it was developed now there are so many categories of the special protection group vip in india are protected by security forces as well so there are very important persons too so the level of security are determined by the threat perception around the individual so the threat perception according to the threat perception the security is been defined so basically the highest level of security cover the z plus category so the highest security is from the z plus followed by z y and x categories all right the higher and level of the higher the level of cover the larger the number of personnel protecting the individual so it was about it roughly 24 to 36 personnel with automatic weapon are deployed for z plus category so these are about the z plus and the elite black cat commandos for are deployed to protect vips from whom the threat perception is high so black cat commandos are for the those people so obviously for our prime minister black cat commandos are there okay because the threat for him is quite high as there are so many enemies wandering for him around the world so it was about the security that uh, need for a policy in this regard obviously there are so much of expenditure for the ne- national security so it is important okay so as it was evaluated around 24500 crore was the expenditure in the year 2017 and 18 so it is very important to have the regulation okay so uh, this was about it i think uh, there is some missing slides here it was about the steel industry not about the black cat commandos okay so so okay basically this is a steel policy okay so uh, there was a steel recently there was a steel policy which has been uh, uh, scrap policy a scrap policy for the steel industry this news about it i think i missed the introduction slide okay so just a uh, little overview about it okay we are going to cover it again in the next video all right so there was a skill is 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 strap okay so uh, if, if if we are going to cover it in the detail in the next slide we will cover it from the beginning itself okay so there were some uh, news uh, related to the scrap and benefiting the steel industries with the crap with the good crap okay so we are going to discuss it and so just enjoy these videos and uh, rate review comment if you guys are uh, continuously watching it please do watch okay because we are going to repeat so many topics and when we are repeating it it will be obviously the revision will be there okay so uh, how i can improve myself how you guys are uh, accepting and uh, learning this videos just rate review comment and then thanks for watching